Gravelers, we had made our way into the Columbia Restaurant. This is one of seven locations in Florida. Yeah, one of seven. And it actually started in Tampa, I believe. And they actually, a little fun fact, in 1905. And in 1935, they had the first air conditioning dining room in Tampa, Florida. And for Florida and air conditioning, I bet you they were busy. So we are looking over this extensive, I mean, it's an extensive menu. Yeah, and I'm actually going to take time to show them right now what okay. the menus look like. Perfect. Because I was just saying I've never been to a restaurant where I feel like I could like just get dessert. Yeah. Like every single one of their desserts. Yeah, have they have food. five desserts on the menu, and then they have a, fi a sixth dessert as a special dessert. So it's food. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So. This is so take a look at the menu with us, and then we'll be back and let you know what we get. Yes, enjoy the menu. <laughs> We are actually having a hard time deciding what we're going to eat, but our server did bring us some Cuban bread, warm Cuban two. bread with butter. Yeah, but they bring each person at the table their own Cuban bread. So we got one and a two. So, and a nice little dish of butter, and their straws that they have are plant-based. So that's nice. So they are plastic, but they're plant-based and biodegradable. So we love that. And tea. An appetizer. Ah, uh, chicken croquettes. Yes, so oh, croquettes oh, pollo. Yes. Look very familiar. That looks really good. We got the chicken croquettes, and here they are, guys. Hi, they look very familiar. They look very familiar. So we might just like the, love these. So and they bring you a little hot sauce. I'm gonna have to roll the dice. Salsa picante, right there. And they actually sell this in their gift shop here at the restaurant. You can still decide. I think I know what I want. Okay. Think but about it while we're. Okay. Don't be scared if to I order. don't get it, I'm going to be upset. You're going, yes. Okay, she's still Sorry, deciding. I don't know. But we're going to eat some of these fritters right now. So come on. Okay, so we're going to have the chicken croquettes. We're going to have the salsa picante. 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 Sal
Shake, shake, shake the shoulder. Okay, Here we go. Ready? Yep. Hope it's not too hot. <laughs> I like that. That is really nice. Great little appetizer. And they sell this in their gift shop. So That's good. you can pick some up on the way out. Trying our warm Cuban bread with butter. Michelle's already had a bite and she said it is real butter, so. And for those um, public sub lovers, it's public sub lovers. This is good. I might change to a Cuban sandwich. With this, I don't know. Oh, I don't know what to get. I really don't know what to get. I want the chicken. I made a decision. I don't okay, what are you getting? Michelle has made a decision. I think you pronounce it Saltiago. The um, Saltiago. Saltiago. Your choice of bonus pieces of chicken or tenderloin tips. I'm going to get the tips. Yeah, sauteed with extra virgin olive oil with onions, green pepper, garlic, mushrooms, diced potatoes, chorizo, and splashed with wine, served with yellow rice, and the steak that you're going to get is $22. And I'm going to go with But the I sort of cheated because I, I looked ahead for an image Oh Google yeah. For okay, it, that's not it fair. Really good. Okay, it looks good. I'm going with the Polo Manchango. Bonus chicken breast breaded with Cuban breadcrumbs and grated Manchango cheese. Topped with citrus sauce, sun-dried tomatoes, and fresh basil. Served with yellow rice, and that is $18. So those will be our two dishes right now. So we cannot wait to give those a try. Everything so far has been fantastic. Great atmosphere. Beautiful restaurant inside. And you saw the drive here, so you know that it's not that far. No. Nope. How many minutes would you say it is? It is 12 minutes from the Magic Kingdom parking lot. Not far at all. I timed it from there, so that's not that far at all. They do have outdoor seating that you can see the lake and downtown celebration, and they do have the indoor seating. So, the salads are actually made table side, and this is the 1905 salad. We opted for no salad today because we're going with dessert, <laughs> and it sounds like we're getting a dessert each. It might not be a shared. Two desserts each. Yeah, that's a possibility. <laughs> no, I don't know. A salad does look good though. Next time. Next time. There will be a next time. Okay, so we are sitting here trying to have a discussion with what we are going to eat, which we already got what we're going to eat. But now the big dilemma <laughs> is. Their desserts look so good. I mean, I've so never good. I've had a dilemma with desserts. I know, and Michelle was actually contemplating what to get. I would literally get every single every one of Every single one of them. I pretty much ruled out the flan. The flan they sell okay. here is the best they've ever had. Flan, but I know it's not your flan. So I'm okay, okay with that's okay. Leaving that one out. Okay. The other one is the churros, the fried dough with the sauces. I'm a sucker for that. I yeah, love those. That's true. But that would, again, probably be a little predictable. Right? Okay. The the bread blueberry pudding. Cheesecake. Oh, yeah. Well, there's a blueberry uh, cheesecake that was yeah. on the special. Thing. Right. Yeah. We got to get the menu back. Any kind of cheesecake like that. Exactly. <laughs> and then the white chocolate bread pudding. That's always a must. Well, right we now. The key lime as well. We're getting ready to eat our food oh because God. it is coming to the table. Oh, yeah, that is me. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, it is hot, delicious. but that is the pollo manchego right <laughs> there. You. Look Thank at you. that. Oh, that looks good. That looks really good. And what, I can't even remember what yours is called. Um, that's the, uh, pollo manchego. Yeah, it looks fantastic. And then she got the beef tips or something. Yes, that's what I got. Look at that. And you get chicken that, oh, too, I think. That is fantastic. Yeah, we cannot wait to give these a try. This food, oh my god, it smells so good. <laughs> and I know food always smells good, but this really smells good. But these plates are piping hot. So, what do you want to try out first? Fork is spent. Fork spent? That's okay. Is that normal? I don't know. Get you another one. There's another fork here. I know it's a salad fork. I'm going to use that one. Yeah, it's okay. It'll work. All right, here. Get a little. Okay. 
that's rice. Get the stuff. Okay, so this is Michelle's oh my something. Gosh. I can't Very remember. It's the, the well, we'll stegato or something. Salad, salad, all of them. We're, we're, let's try it. So we are getting ready to try this to see how it is. Thank you, Tyler. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you. Here we go. Ready? Right, yes. That meat was just like fall apart. Oh my god, that is good. Oh my gosh. Meat and, is very tender. And all the vegetables in it. You can actually taste the meat. Yes. And I know you're not a big pepper fan, but the green peppers are so great. Like they taste like green peppers. Wow. This and is onions and mushrooms, and then the gravy on it. The gra yeah. yeah. Um, it is It is a fantastic yeah, I love dish. The rice. I bet you the chicken's just as good. The rice is good. Yeah, oh yeah. Come on, look. look. Rice is good. It's just not that packaged I love yellow rice. rice. Yeah, it's really good. It's really good. Okay. Yours looks so delicious. Come on, let's try a piece. That's the biggest patty I've ever seen. I know. Get you a piece there. I'm just going to get the chicken because I know what the rice tastes like. Okay. And I'm going to put a little sun dried tomato on there. Want a sun dried? Okay. Here we go. Upside down. I don't care if it tastes, right. but it looks Let's go. Mm, oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> that is so good. Oh my god. And there's lemon. It's a lemon. Oh. If you come here, make sure you get this. I don't care if you have to share it as an appetizer. This is a fantastic dish. Both of these dishes are fantastic. That's delicious. This is, oh my gosh. You can actually, that lemon. Oh, it's so good. And it's really thin. And it's got the bread crust on it. Cooked perfectly, but not overcooked to where the patties all stuff and everything. Yeah, mine's delicious. Yours is more so. Okay. But I, I enjoy mine too. Yeah, I'm not disappointed with either one of these dishes at all. Fan, fantastic. We're going to go and enjoy these dishes. We'll be back sooner or later with dessert. The, the vegetables in this are cooked just enough that they're not raw tasting, but they do still have a little crunch to them. Yeah, but so I was saying, that is like the sweetest <laughs> onion I've ever had in my life. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And I know you don't like onions, but I sure wish you'd try them. You know what? I'll try so an onion. Good. I'll try an onion for you. Like, put a, put, put a little something with it. Yeah, so I'll put a little sauce and rice. Onion. There we go. Sauce and rice and not onion. It's not a typical... Mm, no. It's like not a typical onion-y kind of onion. I don't even taste it. Mm. I don't even <laughs> taste any of them. Food fall not all my mouth. It was the onion revolting against it. No, that is good. Okay. Okay, they win. We're sitting here enjoying our meal, <clears throat> and the manager of the restaurant just walked by. Mm -hmm. He's greeted every table so far. Um, Jeff Crocos. Cro Crocos. Jeff Crocos. But he was telling assistant us, manager. assistant manager. He was telling us that there are two bakeries that makes their Cuban bread. One bakery alone, that's all they make is Cuban bread for the seven locations. Twenty-six thousand loaves a day. They make this bread. And they've been making it for the past 100 years just for the Columbia restaurant. Andy happened to drop the little hint that the bread pudding is made with the Cuban bread, so that will be one of the desserts that we will be having here shortly. I'm going to have to come back for oh, sure. 100%. Like, I, I just want to. I want to try more and more. This is, oh, this is so good. This chicken is so good. Her beef is so good. Can I have another bite of beef? Absolutely. I just want to look. These two dishes together are yeah. each other. Oh, this is so good. So they just came by the table again to give us a little information about the Columbia. The Columbia is the oldest restaurant in Florida, which is pretty amazing. Its original location is at Ybor City in Tampa. It is 1,700 seats, 35 dining rooms. It's a whole city block. The Columbia over there in Tampa. And which, I can't believe that I've lived in Florida. I know. I've never really so, had something on our radar. We're going to go over there and see Jeff and and have dinner He's over from there. The Tampa one. Right. So he said there. Yeah, come we'll see, see him because they do a flamenco dancing show five nights a week. So we want to see that. So we cannot wait I to think, try that. 
The only thing I know it from is like I love Lucy shows. Yeah. I've never really seen it. Live. Well, that's why Ricky was. He was Cuban, so that's. Oh yeah, that it. makes sense. So this makes sense. We're sitting here talking to the tables next to us and everything, and the couple next to us have been coming here for quite a while. And they'll actually be back Monday. <laughs> That's how much they love this restaurant. And this is a Friday, so this is our Friday video. Um, they, live, they live close to. Yeah, they live close to. This is what's left what of my is. plate right here. That's it. No bread or anything. Can't show mine. There's two peppers and a fork of rice left on that plate. I cannot believe This food I ate was fantastic. Fantastic. And I would come back tomorrow. Yeah. If I could. Yeah. I think it's that good. Yeah. I had two more coffees coming out just in the moment. Let's take a look at the menu for dessert coffee. Yes, I think we're ready for dessert. Excellent. Go ahead and say what you're going to get. Which one am I going to claim? It doesn't matter. The blueberry cheesecake. Excellent job. Very nice. I'm going to get the um, bread pudding. Bread pudding, yes, sir. And then what was our third thing? I can't. I am so full. I cannot <laughs> believe I ate all <laughs> We'll have to get it when we come back. try it. Okay, so. Dessert has arrived, as you can tell. This is the cheesecake with the blueberry. Um, there's a liqueur in there. Can't remember what it is, but look at that. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. And everything is house made, by the way, for here at the Columbia. And Michelle's taking pictures. This has got to be the prettiest bread, bread pudding, pudding I've ever seen. That I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. It is just amazing. I can't wait to hold it up and show you guys. Okay. okay, here we go. Look at that. Look at that. Wait, it's got a, look at that. Oh, that just... That oh, is... Look at that, look at that. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Right there. Oh my gosh. We cannot wait to give this a try. And like I said, this is made with the Cuban bread. And what bakery is it again? What bakery? Uh, La Segunda. Is it La Segunda? Uh, yeah, La Segunda Central Bakery. La Segunda Central Bakery in Tampa, and they have been making their Cuban bread since 1915. since 1915 for these guys. So yeah. unbelievable. And this is made with their bread, which I think yep. they already said. The Cuban bread. Right. We didn't get the key lime, but we we're going to give these a try. Okay, we are going to try the blueberry cheesecake first. Right there. Oh, look at that. I'm going to get some extra blueberry sauce in there. Oh, that is super. Got extra, oh, it's just dripping. Michelle's got to get her bite. She uses the fork. I use a spoon, make sure I didn't miss anything. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Cheers, honey. Cheers. To a great, great lunch. We've had a fantastic time. That might be the smoothest cheesecake I have ever eaten in my life. You can taste that blueberry liqueur in that. Go ahead. I taste like I literally just picked those off the vine. Yeah. And put them on the cheesecake. Oh my gosh. They are so fresh. Oh my it gosh. It actually popped when I bit. Yeah. It did. This is Usually fantastic. Usually you get that gelatin. Right. Now I'm like, I'll be a crappy blueberry. <laughs> These, you can tell these are fresh blueberries. I've never had a lunch make me physically happy. Like, I am, like, mm. so happy. They, they, they crunch. They crunch. Travelers, that's what it is. Me and Michelle have said it before. It's the new taste. It's the new experiences that we're having. This restaurant here has knocked it out of the park. I'm in my age. I have a birthday coming up. I was kind of sad about it. This whole past couple years, it's really hit me hard to age. I'm embracing my age. And after 55 years of food and taste, it is all about the new. So like I've said before in the last one, I think Kate May was the very end. Of the old. That is my new beginning. Yeah. I am now taking things as they come. And when I find things like this that are unique to me, that's all That's awesome. That's awesome to hear. It might be a great birthday dinner. Never know. Yes. Could be a good one. Okay, let's Absolutely. try that. Let's try that bread pudding. Oh man. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm getting a new fork. I ain't even want to. I don't know. Now before I bite this, I'm expecting it to be a little like blandish because of the bread. 
Yeah. Yeah. Michelle's yeah. expecting blame I'm because of the bread. About what the bread's going to taste okay. like. Okay, here we go. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. We have a new leader in bread pudding. <laughs> House of Blues has a great bread pudding. This is a fantastic bread. <laughs> this is so good. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> no ice cream needed. No extra stuff needed. It is perfect the way it is. Oh my gosh. It looks like it's got a condensed milk. Something on there. But I mean, just look at that. Oh. I'm just reflecting. <laughs> I'm, I have a flashback of my whole life, my, all the food that I have. I'm going to have this to, really you know, there's those restaurants that just stick. And I think this is going to be a stick. And, I, and we're not, not sponsored, not, we've just talked to the management, we've talked to the servers. Our server has been here for 23 years and started as a dishwasher. He's been here that much, so that's this kind of restaurant. And that is... It has little bits of like real chocolate I know. on the top. It's the white chocolate chunks, and it's got a white chocolate... Oh. And I'm telling you, I've got a whole big plate of lunch. I could sit here and eat every drop of yeah. this bread pudding. Yep. Yeah. I don't know what else to say. Je I know what to say. Jeff's son owes him a piece of... Because Jeff took a piece, the assistant manager here, he took a piece home, went to have it the next morning, and his son ate it on him before he could have it for breakfast. So, oh my God, this is so good. If there is one restaurant so far that we have went to outside of Disney property that I would say as a visitor that you need to come to, this is if it. you like Spanish Cuban type food, and really food in general. I would not yeah. miss this restaurant. Fifth, You've got to try it. Fifth generation, family owned. I will bring everybody I know back yep. here. Yeah, 100%. I totally agree. Totally agree. I'm going to have some blue So if you're here and you try it, you let us know what your experience was. Yeah. Because we're very interested to see, like, why did it take so long for us to find this restaurant? Right. I'm surprised it's not busier than it is. I'm shocked that literally it's so close to Disney. That yeah. There's no reason why they shouldn't be packed to the guilt. Packed every day. Oh, by the way, we found this on open table. Mm -hmm. This was an open this table. This was like a last minute decision this morning. Yeah. Yeah. Unexpected. We did, Michelle knew we had to shoot a Friday video, and this is what she chose for us. So, okay, guys, it's starting to get loud. It's starting to get rowdy in here. It's still going on. So, like we always say, until next time, and you find a great restaurant like this. Travel and Adventure. Yes, yeah, share, share it. it and support it. You're right. <laughs> Travel and Adventure is out there.